We're here with actress Rebecca DaCosta, whose new film, The Bagman, comes out this Friday. She stars with Robert De Niro, John Cusack, and Crispin Glover. Why don't you talk a little bit about when you first wanted to become an actress? And I know you were born in Brazil, and then we'll work up to your new film. Okay. So I was born in Recife, Brazil. Uh, it's a city in the, in the northeast, uh, by the coast. And uh, I always wanted to be an actress since I was a child. Always. And uh, I used to do theater back in Brazil. And I used to write, direct, produce, and act on the, you know, in, in my own place. And mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of fun. And then I started modeling at the age of 14. I left my home to Sao Paulo, which is the biggest city in Brazil. And from there, I went to Milan to do the Fashion Week. I lived seven years in Europe and then I moved to, to the US, to New York. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started taking acting classes again and I went to visit a friend of mine in LA and uh, I decided to stay. I said, I love it here, I'm gonna stay. And I kept taking classes and six months later I booked my first role on Entourage. And from there everything started. Everything started uphill. Um, what was it like moving from your family to the United States with sort of an unknown future, you know, when you come into the acting business, you never know where you're going to go. Yeah, I'm very, I love taking risks in my life, always. I went to Germany the first time I was 16. Mm -hmm. I didn't speak any word in German or English. I just spoke like Portuguese and Italian at the time. And, but those things, they, they, they drive me, they excite me, you know? So the same, coming to the US, going to Hollywood by myself without knowing anybody, without having mm -hmm. any connection. In the, in, the, in the acting business, that was my feel, you know, that really drove me to go and get it, you know, and as much as everybody told me I was crazy, they said, Rebecca, listen, everyone is LA, in LA is trying to be an actor. I just said, you know what, I don't care, with me it's going to be different. I just, you know, I had that illusion in my mind that actually worked in my favor, so. It could have been determination too, not just mm -hmm. an illusion. Mm -hmm. Now your first film um, you did was called LA, I Hate You, when you first came over here. What was that like working on your first big project? I was very happy when I heard I got the part mm -hmm. and it was a very interesting role. It, it's a very weird, in a good way, it's, it's a very interesting movie and um, my first scene was with William Forsyth and I remember I was very nervous mm -hmm. and I needed to walk. He was in a restaurant and I was supposed to walk towards him and just say, you know, what would you like to drink? That was my first line and I was just so nervous and I came to him and I said, and he looked at me and he goes, you're so good. He told me that just to make me feel relaxed, nice. you know? And it was so nice of him. And from then on, I just relaxed and I started to have fun. That's good though. You got your first day jitters out on the first day and were able to enjoy the shoot. Yes, thanks to William. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, um, obviously you are a complete slacker because you only have three movies coming out this year. <laughs> Why don't you talk about them uh, in order? I know. The newest one coming out, The Bagman, is coming out Friday. Yes. And then you have two other ones later in the year. Yes. So The Bagman is about loyalty and trust between a fixer, played by John Cusack, and a crime boss, played by Robert De Niro. And it's, John's given a task, which is to go to collect a bag in the middle of nowhere and wait there for De Niro to arrive. And while he's waiting for, for, for his boss to arrive, he meets my character, Rivka, She's very witty and sharp and very quick, and she has a very dry sense of humor, and uh, she's just very mysterious. Um, and the question that lingers in the air is, what does she know about the bag? Mm -hmm. You know, um, how, how does she know the other characters in the movie? Because the big theme of the movie is what's in the bag. Right. Yeah. Hence the title, right? Yes. <laughs> so one of your big films, aside from the one we just talked about. Uh, you play a mother um, who's going through some struggles. What was that like? Yeah, uh, it's called. Uh, yeah, the movie is Breaking at the Edge. I did it with Andy McDowell, mm -hmm. uh, the Oscar winner Lou Gossett Jr. Mm -hmm. and uh, Milo Ventimiglia. It was a very intense, hard role to play. Um, the name of the character is Bianca. She's six months pregnant and she suffers from bipolar disorder, and uh, she becomes schizophrenic throughout the movie. So she had all these elements and it was a very intense role and it was amazing. We shot in Savannah for about two months and I'm really looking forward for people to see to see that movie. Did you study someone who was schizophrenic or watch yes, videos online? I and had stuff? to. 
I had to, I, I, I talked to a lot of psychiatrists, I talked to a lot of people that, you know, suffer from bipolar disorder and also people that have depression. And uh, I really try to, you know, if one thing is for you to play crazy, the other thing is for you to really try to connect that mindset. Mm -hmm. How would it be if I was really losing my mind? And that's what I try to achieve. Was intense. <laughs> and talk a little bit about mind games, if you're allowed to. Yes, mind games, exciting project. It's a thriller. It's about uh, seven friends that takes a trip to to Seattle and they find a, a mine, abandoned mine, that has supernatural power. And in the cast, including myself, we have Ethan Peck, Gregory Peck's grandson, mm -hmm. Brianna F. Gone from Step Up. And yes, it's, it's a great movie and also coming out in the summer. That's wonderful. I mean, to have three movies coming out at one time, well, in one year, you must be quite excited about yes. that. Really, really happy. When did you realize that you were uh, living the dream and that you were going to be successful at it? Was there a point in time? I mean, not in a conceited way, but... Yeah. I think um, I dream a lot. As I said to you, I went to LA and I said, you know, I'm going to make this happen no matter what. And I was 100% focused. And I booked Entourage, and then I booked LA, I hate you. Mm -hmm. And things started rolling, and I was, I was like, oh, that's going pretty well. But I think just now, with the bad man, I'm starting to get some, you know, the, the dimension of things. And uh, I, I'm like, sometimes I, I find myself thinking, oh my God, this is really happening. It's yeah. like, unbelievable. You keep pinching yourself. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to newcomers who are just starting out in the business? Would you, um, either whether, be in modeling, um, which is something you transitioned away from, or into acting, or both. Actually. Yeah, uh, if you, I think if anybody that wants to be an actor, you really need to know in your heart that's what you want to do for your life because it's hard work, and every day you're gonna face obstacles. Mm -hmm. Every day you face, you know, things that I need to overcome. So as long as you know in your heart that you're born to do that, just go for it. Just that doesn't matter what people tell you, doesn't matter if you're not tall enough or, or you know, you may be too tall or too short or whatever. Don't listen to anything, just go for it. Because I'm the living proof that if you believe in yourself, things just, they just happen. There's a sort of energy that you, that you give to the world when you believe in yourself, that somehow you attract things to your life. Perfect. Well, Rebecca, we look forward to your two other films opening later this year and especially to the one opening Friday. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking time to do this interview. Okay.